Hey guys, Banto here with the tutorial to game Age of Conan. Today I'm gonna teach you how you can install a custom UI for the game and user interface. The first thing you have to do is open up your browser and go to this home page here. www.curse.com slash addon slash AOC Age of Conan. Then you're gonna find the user interface you would like to have. There are kind of many but there are about two of them which I would say are frequently or more frequently updated. So the user interface I would go for if I'm a new player and want to try something good I would go for either Stone Rune user interface or FDS. The FDS is the one that I use and I really love that one. So it's your choice. So we head on to one of these. If you don't understand all these things, it's because I'm from Sweden and everything will be in Swedish. You just go in here and download, but I have already downloaded this, so I won't do it now. And to install the UI also, you will need to get this, like a program here. Each of Conan UE Installer. With this software, you're gonna be able to install the custom user interface to your game. So go in here and download it as well. So when you have downloaded both of these items here from Curse, you have to open up the Age of Conan Unit Installer, extract it wherever you want it to be. Go in and install, it's pretty simple, straightforward, I'm not gonna go through that, I already have the software. And it shouldn't really be any problem you to install that software. If there are any questions at all how you wanna do those things, I will reply to those in the comments. And the second thing you can do, this is the user interface you chose to download. I'm using the FDS one, which I think is a great UI. And you can check how that looks in different versions as well at the home page. If you go into the FDS user interface as well, you can bring up this picture. You will find big icons, small, mini, E13, which is a Logitech tech keyboard, I think, normal and two rows. The one I'm using at my channel is called this mini one. I really love that one, it's very compact and it's got a lot of functionality, a lot more than other ones. And mainly you can say that there are these spaces here, they are kind of removed here so everything is more brought together. But it's all up to you which one you want to use. So when you have chosen the user interface you want to use and install the Age of Conan UE installer. You have to launch that software if you put it on the keyboard in the sorry on the desktop and you have to launch that software. And then you're gonna choose where is my Age of Conan installed. You also have to select the UI zip file wherever you have placed it. So the place where I place it mine is in here. I go into my Age of Conan folder, shows the UE I downloaded using the face, open it up now is open it so don't worry and here you can choose the things I said on that picture normal big icon small type mini type 1 2 rolls e13 and there are type 2 as well if I remember correctly it's only like where the map's gonna be so you can choose one to install and uh, if you want more options well I always do this thing when I'm installing I go into more options and you can choose this thing here Choose between display, horizontal or vertical direction of the bar combo. So the thing I'm mostly using is this one. I think this is, yeah, this is the original one. I think this is way better because I normally put in my, you know, the casting bar either under or above it. So let's go on and you can choose the bag size as well. This will be able to fit more. You can choose how many you have want to have in each window. So let's go for that. Clean one, default is the default one, a lot of clutter on it. The clean one is real great in my opinion. And this is your choose your logo, it's only when you're logging into the game actually. You can choose whichever you want. I'm gonna use the FDS one. It can even show what kind of pointer you want it to look. So it might be easier for you to find it in the game and it can be very useful really. So let's go for this, I think I'm gonna go for that blue one kinda sticks out from the rest. Here's also your cast bar which you can change as well. I think I'm mostly using this one but I'm gonna go over this one and try that one. Choose your logo of your cast bar so that's a little logo on the cast bar as well. Let's get it sword. 
And here you can choose your font as well, use it in game. I'm playing around with a few of them, I think I'm gonna go for... Kinda simple, let's try... Ah, let's go for the aerial one. Just close this one, don't worry. Click install. Loading, 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 loading. And it's done, it's installed. Now you should be able to use your customizable user interface. And there are other options here as well. I'm not gonna go into those. If there are any need for you to go into these, I can do that later, but not right now. But uh, I hope you had a great time and hope this helped a lot. If there are any more questions how you can install your user interface, feel free to post in the comments. I will try to help you. And if this turns out really bad, I'll just make a new one for you guys, which will be better. So, I hope you had a great time and uh, take care. This is Banto Cheese and goodbye.